Are you feeling lucky? Well, are you punk? It's a film reference. That's quite, quite aggressive. Yeah. yeah, sorry. Chinese New Year just around the corner. We thought we'd better bake something appropriate. And what better way to celebrate than to ignorantly stereotype an entire nation by making fortune cookies. And all you need is 100 grams of plain flour, 150 grams of icing sugar, 125 grams of egg white, and 60 grams of melted butter. Dry ingredients first. Let's mix them. Next up, we need to separate the egg whites from the eggs. If you can do that. Okay. So what's all this about fortune cookies not even being Chinese? I think it's an American thing, and they tried to import them to China, and China went, it's too American for us, not interested. But they're what we associate with Chinese restaurants. Yeah, I was going to say, the best the part of a Chinese restaurant is getting a fortune cookie at the end. Especially oh, when you read the message and you go, that was written for me. And then your mate next to you gets exactly the same one. And it was written for him too. Egg white and melted butter now going into the dry. They love a pun, the there's old a, Chinese. There's a place near us called Wok You Like. Yeah that's, yeah, that's from our hometown. That's the consistency you're looking for, quite thick. And now, the sort of twist. Just sounds like a dance move. We're gonna add Chinese five spice. It might sound a bit odd, but if you think about it, three of the five spices are already sweet. Cinnamon, mm -hmm. uh, star anise, and cloves. Okay. Plus fennel and black pepper, but it works amazing. You love a five spice, because you don't have to think any further than one spice containing, like Neapolitan. Somebody's already done the mixing for you in the right ratio, it's amazing. One teaspoon's enough. There we go, that's the batter done, ready for shaping. It smells very nice. Hey, do you know it's the year of the horse? 2014. What year were you born in? 1986. <laughs> I'm in with Janibal. Oh. Uh, the year of the tiger. I was a rabbit. You were a rabbit. Wow. That's just so accurate. Shape them into circles about 10 centimetres across, but nice and thin. Mm -hmm. Make sure you do it on a silicon mat so they don't stick later on. And don't do more than two or three at a time because you'll have to shake them quite quickly when they come out of the oven. The oven should be at 180 degrees Celsius and they need five minutes. Which should just give us time to write our own fortunes. Now you've got to be pretty quick with these, but peel them back. Place your message inside and fold around once and again while they're still warm. And then as they set up, they go nice and crispy. So that's kind of what you're aiming for. Mate, they look amazing. They do take a little bit of time, a bit fiddly, mm -hmm. but you can have a lot of fun with the message inside. There's a fortune cookie for you. This is for me. Yeah. You can have yours. This one's mine. Okay. You start with yours. I'm going to read this first. Sleep well, dream strong, and good grace will come. Grace with a capital G. Take more than that. A child is for life, not just a drunken New Year's Eve in a hot tub in Brixton. You're an idiot. But seriously though, have a go at these. Give them a go. Send us your photos with the hashtag iCandySorted. Also, you should comment below uh, really funny Chinese restaurant names and your fortunes and funny Chinese proverbs. Let's turn that into like the funniest Chinese proverb list on the internet. See how good we can make them for the year of the horse. They look really cool, but they apparently uh, we have our own ones now to uh, sample. Cool. Well, why is my one this big? Yeah. <laughs> like a taco. Mm. <laughs> there are three kinds of people in this world. Those who can count and those who can't. That's, that's not three, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Size matters. Now, like the boys were saying, there are so many cool different takeaway names out there that are just absolute genius. Uh, if you know of any more, then please let us know. I've got one. Go on. Uh, so I'm going to open up my own chain of restaurants that are all going to be karaoke based. Yeah. Uh, so I did have a curry based one, which uh -huh. is going to be called karaoke. Brilliant. Uh, and then the, uh, the Chinese restaurant that I was going to have in yeah. the chain, We Will Walk You. Brilliant. Brilliant, you can do better. Also, we're not very happy with our current uh, fortune, so please, if you have any better Chinese proverbs, then please yeah. let us know. Man who walked through airport turnstile sideways, going to Bangkok. Classic. Classic. Fortunately, it wasn't only fortune cookies that we've been cooking up this week. Well, how fortunate. I know. We also did a prawn tagliatelle. Now this... Is it a prawn tagliatelle? Nope. Got, definitely got a G in it. Not in Italy. This is the return of eye candy. Oh, and this one looks come good. Come on. Come this on. looks good. That was not needed. Nope. 
If you haven't seen any of the eye candy series before, first of all, go and have a look at the playlist. They look incredible. Mm -hmm. Secondly, you'll notice that the second half of the video yep. is actually not us at all. No, it's it's you. It's you. It is you. It's you. It's all of your photos and your videos that you send to us using Instagram, Twitter, Facebook with the hashtag eye candy sorted. Who doesn't like a good sausage every now and then? No, Ben certainly does. He really does. And this time he's put it in a hole. Yeah, and the right hole, a Yorkshire pudding hole. Yeah, Yorkshire pudding based hole. Yeah, it's a toad in the hole. Toad in the hole. What were you thinking of? And at the table this week, Ben had a massive crepe. He did. Yeah, had a massive crepe on right the on the table. table. Yeah. Yeah, in the form of a cake, a crepe cake. Yeah. It's one that we know you've been asking for for a long, long time. Say no more. It looks incredible. It tasted incredible. Uh, I was going to do comment of the week. Yeah. But then I discovered something better than a comment of the week. How what? Story of the week. Ooh. I was highlighted to an Instagram photo on my Instagram profile yeah. uh, from two people, one called Izzy Go Boom and the other one called Patrick Stump is the 13th Doctor. These are two people who have been watching Sorted for a while, mm -hmm. um, and actually, they've got to know each other because they both like Sorted. They've become friends. They're now sending food packages across the United States to each other of where they're making a recipe and sending it to their newfound friend. Flipping there. How cool is the Sorted community? So, if you found a friend, or if you found a lover, life partner through Sorted, let us know. Turns out, get me Sorted is a whole new meaning, doesn't it? <laughs> On that bombshell, we're going to leave you with uh, two things. Firstly, a lovely sausage playlist, which Ben has requested. Uh, and lastly, our goodbyes. Bye! Bye. Sausage. Roar. What noise do rabbits make? That's a twitch. That's <laughs> making that noise. We sure are. We are. It, I, I just. They're I'm... really hard to film. Ah. Uh, but we, we're glad to see that you're a fan of us. Mm. What are you doing? I, it made me. Look at this, just a nipple. Sit there. Sorry, Mike, we can't use that bit.